I'm here, Angel. I'm here, Angel. I'm here, hey, Angel. I'm here, Angel. Angel! I'm here, Angel. I'm here, Angel. I'm here, Angel. I'm here, Angel. Angel! I'm here, Angel. 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 Just give me a minute, Angel. The food looks good, Mum. Thank you, Angel. Don't forget to say your prayers. I mean, why do we have to pray? We have to be grateful for the things we have, Angel. Are you grateful for all the things you have, Mummy? Has life been fair to you? That's not fair. That's not fair at all. I'm sorry. Eat your food and go to bed. Mum, why can't I go out like all the other kids my age? Because the world is not a safe place. But you go out all the time and come back in one piece. I have lived in this world much longer than you, and I know how to survive in it. But even my best days, it's a struggle. What is it like to be out there? Baby, listen. I know you want to go out in the world, but trust me when I say it's not a safe place for you. I'm trying to protect you. Look, Angel. I'm off to work. Can I come with you? <laughs> you know I'd take you if I could. Never mind. Yeah, I'm just one person. Yeah. I can only. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay, just one person. Jump. I can only. at home how was the extra time off yeah well i can't complain i went on this date during the weekend oh to that new restaurant in town we should go there one day a girl's night out perhaps you can bring prince charming out of the woodworks what do you think it sounds interesting anyways back to the day so we went back to his place it was really nice and classy but when it came down to business his performance was poor what a pity you would think a guy with a body like his would know how to put it down olivia i'm dying in two days okay olivia you're not listening to a word i'm saying are you sure you're okay sorry lindsay i've got a lot on my mind Look, I did counselling internship with Rachel. It really helped me. I think she can help you too. She's a great therapist. Okay, whatever. <sighs> hey, excuse me. You dropped this. Oh, no, it's not mine. I know. 
I just wanted an excuse to talk to you. Oh. You don't mind working the night shifts, do you? Because I could never do it. No, actually, I prefer working the night shifts. Mm, that's interesting. I'm Noah, by the way. Olivia. Olivia. Nice to meet you, Olivia. It's only my second in the office. I'm replacing James. It's only my second week in this town. Welcome to our town. I hope you don't regret your move. I won't. Um, as long as I can have your number. Hello? Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. By the way, I didn't expect you to pick up. Just wanted to say that working with you makes my job easier. That's really nice of you to say. Well, do you think we could continue this conversation at a dinner table? Um, I'm not sure. Just get to know each other. You know, I... I really miss your smile. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay? So what's your weekend looking like? I think I could be available. Yeah? Yeah. Saturday afternoon? Hey, Olivia. Hi, Lindsay. How are you? I'm good. It's been ages since I've seen you in these parts of town. Sorry, hi. Oh, sorry. No, this is my friend, Lindsay. Lindsay Noah. Nice to meet you. So you're the guy that's brought her back into civilization. Lindsay. <laughs> I don't know about that. I just moved here three months ago and I needed a tour guide. So... You thought Olivia, not me. Oh, my God. Hmm? Joking. Olivia knows these streets and all the secret locations of this town. Secret locations? Don't mind her. She's talking a little rubbish. If you say so. Lindsay, behave. Could you both excuse me for a minute? I just... I need to. So, no. What's your deal? Deal? Why Olivia? Instead of? Let me rephrase that question. Who are you and what do you want with my friend? She's paid whatever debt she owes you people. She's not interested in whatever you're offering. I don't understand what you're saying. I just find Olivia attractive and I thought it's a good opportunity to spend time with her and get to know her a little bit better. So it's a real date? Yeah. What did you think it is? Oh, damn it. Forget I said anything. Forget what exactly? Look, Livia is my friend. I've known her for a very long time. I've seen her go through ups and downs. I've seen her go through very dangerous and dark roads. I've seen her love for people almost consume her. But the worst of all, I've seen her heart break. She was never the same again. You think I'm the type of a guy to break her heart? I don't know you, and I hope when you moved to this small town, it was the cheap housing market and a good professional job. <laughs> I moved here because it benefited my career. Not good. Just don't get involved in the Twilight Festival. I don't even know what that is. Let's keep it that way. Bye.
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mom. It's okay. Angel. Mom, where are you? Mom. I need you, Mom. It's okay. Where are you? I'm right here. It's okay. It's okay. Are you okay? I need to go home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got a beautiful house here. Thank you. Thank you. So you live here by yourself? No. So who else do you live with? Has anyone ever told you you ask far too many questions? I guess I'm just trying to make sure that a crazy ex-boyfriend or husband doesn't suddenly show up <laughs> and have to run through the back door. No. No crazy husbands, exes or boyfriends. We all have skeletons in our closets. But none that are going to jump and attack you, so you're safe. Should I be scared or worried about those skeletons? Maybe you should. Hold that thought. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be nosy. It's okay. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your ex-husband or boyfriend? He walked out on us when I was pregnant with Malak. I want you to know that I will be there for you no matter what. Good morning, my sweet, beautiful angel. Morning. Sleep well? Somewhat. I need to tell you something important. Sit down. Angel, Noah and I have decided to move our relationship to the next step. He's going to move in with us. What? Why? Well, Angel, when two people love each other and have been seeing each other for a while, usually they want to take their relationship to the next stage. Part of that is living together. And then that, after that, well, we'll just see what happens. Do you love him? But what about me? Honey, Noah is a great guy. And you will grow to love him just like I do. I think he really likes you. But baby, it doesn't mean I love you any less. He doesn't like me. And he will make you forget all about me. Good morning. For goodness sake. It's okay, it happens. Calm down, it's fine. Oh, that looks good. Did you sleep well? I just feel like I can't do anything right. People always blame me for everything or walk out on me. I just don't know how to please everyone and keep myself happy. Even when I am happy. Just one minute. I get scared. Karma will punish me for enjoying 
my life. Even for that minute. You are too hard on yourself. You need to relax. I'm here with you. And I want a life with you. I want to build a future and have a family with you. Really? With me? I've never met a woman like you. When I'm with you, I just feel so much at home. I know you'll make a wonderful mother. What about my angel Malak? Olivia, I'm here to support you. I know it's not easy, but one day at a time. Look, I'm getting late for work. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> see you later. Come back! <laughs> you actually look better from behind, you know? You're absolutely right, but still. I'm gonna look better than you. <laughs> How's it going? You're right? How's it going? How's it going? Where have you been hiding, man? It's been a long time since we spoke. I know! I've been spending time with my lady. Oh, okay, okay. Who's to say that got you so whipped so suddenly? <laughs> I don't think you know her. Oh, okay. She's very reserved. Really? Well. That's nothing to do, you know. In this small town, everyone likes to stick their nose in others' business. I mean, yeah, do you remember, do you remember that lady who lost her teeth in the supermarket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bizarre. <laughs> he was, yeah. Amazing. So, um, who's, 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 who's the lady then? Come on, tell me about it. I don't know if you know someone called Olivia Kane? Oh, Olivia Kane. Oh. How much do you know about her? I know she's been through a lot. I know she's been hurt. And still hurting. You know, all these traumas of her past have turned her into an introvert. She's very secretive and private. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm sure she'll get better soon. And we'll make a wonderful mother. You know what? I don't think you really know who Olivia is, mate. What do you mean? How much do you really know about her past? Mm, not much, except for her kid, Malak. Ah, did she tell you everything about her ex? Or Malak? No. Mm. Isaac, please tell me exactly what it is. Why is everyone in this town so cryptic? Okay, you have to listen to me, alright? Everyone in this city knows Olivia Kane. She was this sharp, bubbly, popular girl, you know, when she met her ex, Maxwell. They seemed to be that couple that were made for each other, you know. Things seemed to go well between them. Well, about a year into the relationship, Olivia starts to get in. Olivia thought she has got a bug, will eventually go away. But it didn't. She continued to get ill. Day by day she was getting weaker. And eventually, they took her to the hospital after she had fainted. Dr. Martin said she was pregnant with Malik. With Malik? Yeah. Then what happened? Then Max went ape shit. Man, he just went crazy. Crazy? He went crazy as, as he's, you know, he started being the man. You know. He started having demands on how Olivia should be like, you know, how the kids should be raised, you know. 
So was he extremely religious or was he part of a cult? He was involved in this more crazy group of belief believers. Nobody knows what they did. They're keeping this people in their hands. Was Olivia part of this cult? No. But because she was pregnant with his kid, she might as well have been. Oh, okay. We think Olivia has come to some of these meetings. All right, and, and, and we don't know for sure what happened in the last meeting, okay? Some believe she didn't like what they did. Some believe they made her as crazy as they were. Whichever way. So what did they do to Malak? Not they. Olivia. Olivia what? What did Olivia do to Malak? You speak because she's alive. I thought she's taken by her father or lives somewhere else. Mm -mm. She talks about her as if she's alive. No, no, man. All right, you lived, man. Malak didn't stand a chance. After that night, she convinced herself she was still alive, but probably that's why now she's more reserved. So what happened to Malak? Was she ever born? Well, Olivia didn't give that baby a chance, man. So Olivia did what? What did Olivia do to Malak? I love you too, mommy. And I will never let you go. Oh, hey, honey. How are you? How was your day at work? It was... Olivia Malak. What happened to Malak? What do you mean by what happened to me? Nothing happened to me. Malak is okay. Nothing happened to Malak. Where are you getting all this from? A friend of mine told me everything about you, Maxwell and Malak. Mom, don't let him come between us. He's jealous of our relationship. Maxwell promised me the world before I got pregnant with Malak. But he didn't live up to the promises. I couldn't let my baby, my angel, suffer because of me. What kind of life she'd have. So then what did you do to Malak? She deserved the world and I couldn't give her that. Tell him to stop. Everyone in this town looks at me like I'm a monster. As if they know exactly what happened with Maxwell and Malak. Leave, Leave it, it alone, alone please. please. So what happened? Did you lose the baby? No, please, please stop. stop! I didn't lose my baby, she's always been right next to me! Olivia, she's not here! Mommy, I told you you hated me and wanted me gone. No! No, no, no! She's right here next to me! Look at her! Olivia, baby. She is not here. She was never here. She's here! Look at her! 
Never here. But you have to tell me what happened to her. How are you feeling? Better. Are you ready to talk about Malik? I tried to protect her the best I could. But I couldn't. didn't pick up on the important signs. Maybe if I followed my own beliefs, I would never have been in a position to lose my baby. I named her Malak because it means angel. She's my angel. <laughs> <laughs> 